What it do everyday people man, it's your boy PJ Today we're back with another lit video back in the confessional And yeah, we stay on some lit stuff man Shout out to my everyday people Shout out to the whole lucky nation we up in this thing I'm not gonna hold you, let's get into this video Woo! He would, hear me out I went on a date with a guy last week And it was a good date We had a fun time together oh. He's a big time lawyer He owns three to four cars He's doing really well in life you guys know I'm a model, I'm new to the city, transplant, don't even have a car yet, like, still building up my life out here. Regardless, I expect my date to either pick me up or Uber me to the date. That is just my standard. The first date, he was a perfect gentleman, he picked me up and everything. He calls me today for a second date. He wants to go golfing. I said, great. What time are you picking me up? He's like, well, it's out of the way to pick you up. I just recommend you Uber to me and then we can go on our date. And then I wasn't sure if he meant me Uber myself or him Uber me. So I hung up and I texted him. I was like, hey, I'm excited for Saturday, but just to clarify, he calls me up and he's like, can you clarify your text message? And I said, I was wondering what you meant by the Uber. Were you going to call me an Uber or did you want me to call an Uber for myself? And he said, I recommend you call an Uber for yourself. And I said, oh, well, um, you know, since this is a date, I prefer you to Uber me or you can pick me up. And he's like, oh, well, I think you could just do it yourself. And my thing is, yes, I can do it myself, but you're asking me on a date. I expect to be taken care of pick me up or call me an uber the notion that it's too far or too out of the way for the date it's an inconvenience for me because now i have to pay for part of this date i have a problem with that and when i think about it you guys like some women my sister for example she won't even pay for an ice cream at the end of the date and she's been dating her guy for a couple years now but even the first few months of their dating she refused to pay for anything. She didn't pay for anything. He was like, can't you just pay for an ice cream after dinner? And she's like, no. And guess what? She moves in with this man. They've been together for three years, about to get married. He picked that girl. He didn't pick the girl that was like trying to be nice and pay for her own Uber and pay for her own meal. No, he picked the girl that refused to pay for shit, refused to pay for anything for his ass. And he is in love. He's about to put a ring on it. He pays all the bills. They live together. He pays for everything. And yet when they first started dating, he tried to he tried to play her. He was like, Oh, can you just pay for this? No, I'm not paying for anything. Take it or leave it. He took it. So if he wanted two ladies, he would. Okay, keep mm -hmm. your standards high. That's all I got to say. Yeah, she right. Shout out to her, man. She is right. Keep your standards high and don't lower them for nobody, okay? Because you, you lower them one time and God damn it, that motherfucker think he the limbo king. Okay, check this out. Hey, anyway, let's get to the beginning of her video, man. This girl says she's a model. Fuck that. She's not a model. I mean, if she is a model, it's got to be to blind people because, I mean, damn, what is going on? Did anybody see her, her living conditions? Not to mention her 5 o'clock shadow on her lips. But anyway, that's not, I'm, not, I'm not here to talk about how she looks because she did say she was a model. And make we all know makeup does wonders on people. So she could be a plus-size model, okay, whatever. Child, your standards are too high, okay? Now, <clears throat> now I'm not saying what she wanted like like from the man. What she wanted from the man was perfectly fine. But the man that want her obviously is not willing to pay for her okay so her standards are too high she need to lower her standards of looks down a little bit to somebody who is willing to pay for that uber okay stop playing yourself baby obviously if the man has well off he has a plan okay and you not in it okay you was a jump off okay if he wants you to pay for your own uber first of all you live in new york city i don't have those problems i will come pick my lady up I don't have city street problems where we worried about parking and all that shit. We got we got parking all over Oklahoma, okay? You understand what I'm saying? But New York, I can understand, okay? Now, if he wants you to pay for your own Uber out there, you are absolutely correct. You should not take that date because he should be willing to pay for that because he asked you on a date. He wants to court you. Yes, okay? absolutely now let's get to your sister because you said your sister has a man 
that's been paying for ice cream on dates since the beginning and she's been married for two years or whatever or they've been together for two years whatever whatever the case may be and you say he chose her you're a liar he did not chose he did not choose her okay she chose him okay let's let's get that shit correct let's get that shit correct okay she chose him he didn't chose choose her okay the fact that he won't she won't pay for ice cream lets me know he didn't choose her okay she dude is actually a simp he has no balls because she would have bought if she liked him enough she would have bought him a goddamn ice cream i mean good lord what are you in the relationship for then we talk y'all talk about relationships and men get all the benefits and all this but then you hear women like her talk about her sister who won't even pay for fucking ice cream ice cream my nigga like come on man we can't we ain't talking about it. we ain't talking about the whole date we just talking about ice cream if you've been dating for a few years come on man i mean ice cream is nothing man i ain't seen you women waste more listen i waste enough money on bullshit that if my girlfriend asks me for some bullshit then I gotta be like, shit, I might as well do it. Like, uh, uh, quick example, okay? Quick example, okay? My girlfriend wants flowers every weekend. Flowers are expensive, we know this. But I buy weed every other day. Shit, I could go one day without buying weed and buy some flowers, you know what I'm saying? That's just the way it is. So you gotta think about it like that. You can't think about it like a nigga paying for you all that. The man gotta be, you, the man or the woman got to be worth it for you to stop to do what you're doing, to do what you're doing. You obviously was not worth it for that man to lead, to give you an Uber or go out of his way to take you golfing. Look, if I'm going to take my woman golfing, nigga, I'm going out of my way because I want her there. I want her to enjoy this time with me. So I'm going to go out of my way. What are you talking about? It's out of the way. We going golfing at 6 a.m. I don't know about y'all in New York. It ain't as hot in New York as it is in Oklahoma. But goddamn it, we going golfing at 6 a.m. when it's cool, okay? So I'm probably going to spend the night at your house if I want you going golfing because I'm a, you know what I'm saying? And then we going golfing. Like, baby, you not it. You are not the one, okay? That's all I want. I'm going to leave you on that one. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about her. Is, she, is her standards way too high? I think they are. You know, for her. Not for anybody else. For her, her standards is way too high. She can fix it a little bit, edge it off, and she just, listen, that man wasn't for you. That man wasn't for you. You giving us all this story, he wasn't for you. We don't care. So just, just know that I don't even buy the story. Matter of fact, I think you're lying about half the shit. When you said you was a, lo a model, from that moment on, I thought she was a liar, and I didn't believe shit she, else she said. So, everyday people, man, let me know what y'all think. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about this, man. This is just, just way above me. Matter of fact, I'm going to let my girlfriend come react to this shit because I don't even have enough for this. I, I couldn't even tell y'all what to do with this. All right? Everyday people, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll holler at you later. Peace.